Aubameyang scores. And it's a huge relief that we finally have a breakthrough. Arsenal Football Club, one of the more internationally well-known football clubs, revered in places like Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. It looks like Arsenal fans abound all over. The color of choice for East Africa is red for Arsenal. Much of the Gunners' popularity is due to the Invincibles, the record-breaking team of 2003-2004 season, which won the league without losing a single match, as part of a 49-game unbeaten run. Even in the United States and Mexico, in no small part due to Carlos Vela, Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. A bright red shirt blares on the screen and bleeds into the hearts of its international fan base. A nickname, The Gunners. It was popularized in the 1990s when the shirts had the team crest of a white cannon and at times was replaced with the actual nickname, The Gunners. Arsenal rose to prominence during the leadership and management of Arsene Wenger that began in 1996. He reformed the club with new fitness, efficacy and fiscal management. Additionally, he acquired players like Patrick Vieira and Thierry Henry. With Wenger, Vieira and Henri, they exponentially increased the abilities and performances year after year. They won league and cup for the 1997 to 1998 season and of the 2001 through 2002 season as well. They reached the UEFA Cup final in 2000. They won the FA Cup in 2003 and 2005. For the season of 2003 to 2004, will go down in Arsenal history as they carried the achievement of not losing a single game. In doing so, they were nicknamed the Invincibles. It was a total of 49 games which won them a national record as well. The Gunners have become popular, especially in the Hispanic communities, having become a staple of the idea of the underdog who never gives up, an idealism that resonates with many who struggle to achieve their dreams. However, for the Arsenal team, these dreams just haven't come true, with their last most successful Premier League being in 2015 and 2016 coming in second place. Their 2015 to 2016 season was the last time the underdog dreams have played out as a crescendo in recent memory. The Gunners have an impressive record of 13 league titles, 14 FA Cups, and one UEFA Cup under their belts over their entire multi-decade long career. Despite this, the men's team pales in comparison to the women's team, who are a more successful and gratifying Arsenal team of all time, and they do not receive the praise it deserves. The team has recently had multiple historic games with record-setting goal scoring, with multiple hat-tricks and braces in single games, like when they defeated the Spurs 11-1, or when they recently beat West Ham 9-0. The team has had nearly double the success of the men's team, and is now revered as one of the greatest and best women's football clubs to play for in the world. What is the secret to their renowned success? Part of what made the women's Arsenal team successful was Vic Ackers, one of the most successful managers of all the club. During his time as a manager, he secured 32 major honors, including 10 FA Women's Cups, which the men's team at the time had only achieved seven in a span of four times as much history as the women's history as a club. Victor David Ackers is not only a football manager, but has received the OBE award for his country. The OBE Award stands for the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. It's an award for rewarding contributions to the arts, sciences, and to the public service provided to the community. Vic Ackers learned his soccer skills with the Youth Academy for Fulham. 
Although he did not sign a professional contract with Fulham, his soccer career consisted of non-league football teams from 1965 to 1986. In 1986, he took over the position for head of Arsenal's community section. After that nomination, he founded the women's team, titled Arsenal Ladies Team. Having started the team in 1987, Big Akers had a vision in mind, success and dominance. He did so by leading the women's side to the most prolific women's Premier League dominance in English games history. Out of Islington, London, England, the powerhouse team was formed and developed, developing an academy for youth that would develop the girls into professional talent over their careers. He favored developing long-term flexibility skills for aggressive plays of style and a sense of the mental game that led to a strongly dominant career for the team. This mentality was strived for off the pitch. In fact, it can be arguable that an impact off the pitch is what led to the victories and continued development of the women's soccer academy. A sense of cultivating the relationships between the teammates and coaching staff made the advice and strategies much more natural and on the pitch. By cultivating the chemistry between the players and staff, they are much more easily developed and spoken play styles to move out naturally to the players and made it hard for teams to count. This led to a dominating career for the Arsenal Women's Football Club, who are statistically the most successful club in English women's football, holding their records for the most titles won in each domestic competition they have played in. The club has won 15 league titles, 14 FA Women's Cups, 5 FA WSL Cups, 10 Women's Premier League Cups, 5 FA Women's Community Shield, and they are the only English club to win the UEFA Women's Champions. In the 2006-2007 season, the club became the first in history of women's football to achieve the Continental European Sex Cup. They play Meadow Park in Warham, Northamptonshire. They share this field with Forham Wood FC and also the Arsenal youth team in Watford Reserves. After Vic Acker's retirement in 2009, he took over the position of kit manager for Arsenal in 2018. And then his son took over. In 2019, he became the assistant manager for Borham Wood, but left that role in 2020. It is clear that Victor David Ackers has left a large role to fill for the management of the women's Arsenal team. Having left such a high standard for the continuation of the team's progress and dominance in their league, the players feel honored to continue playing at such a high level of caliber. Please, let us know what you think of the women's and the men's Arsenal teams and why or why not you associate with the Gunners in the comments down below. If you would like to help support the team, consider becoming a member. Link in the description below. 